Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. Yo, what's up, Faded? How's it going? What's up, Newt, Thomas, Robert, Biggie? We got Platinum. We got Call the Wild Grinder. We got Cherry. We got Hunting Gods. We got a Cedar, a Cedar Bolt. We got Kelly. We got Call the Wild Hunter. We got Lukey Edits. We got Ronnie. We got Join My Adventures. Chasers here. Hunter Call the Wild Player. Boy is, boy is harap, boy is shrap, Wh whatever your name is, how's it going? What's up, Carson? What's up, Milk? How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good day. We're back at it again, grinding away, as one does. What'd you guys think of today's video? Kind of blew my mind when, when Johnny told me that the bears were drinking, uh, that every bear was drinking at the new time a couple days ago, like, pretty wild. Pretty wild. What's up, Toxic? What's up, Rebel? Nice, Platinum. How many bears per run is good enough to grind? Right now, I have 8 to 12 per run. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That's about what I've got. I think I've got 8 of them, if I'm not mistaken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, no respawns here. Good to know. Good to know. I was here last stream. Nice, dude. Welcome back. Thank you, Sticky. I'm glad you liked it. We got a one there and a two. Oh, I should probably turn my HUD back on. I was taking screenshots earlier. Do I even have the right loadout? Let's see. Do I have my whitetail loadout? No, I have the Geeter Dunn loadout. Uh, yeah, Biggie, I remember you. Ooh, he's being blocked. Yeah, too risky to take that shot. Can't be taking that shot, man. 604 kills. I was taking screenshots of... I believe it was the... Shotgun for the video two days ago. Or I guess it was last night's video, technically. I was taking a picture of the 10-gauge shotgun... Hey, what the? Okay, that that was the game screwing me over there. He moved as I shot. You guys saw that. You guys saw that. Is the 300 AR good for purchase for a grinder? Oh, yes. It's really good for grinding. Like, it's insanely good. I would go as far to say it's a necessity. If you want to be like the fastest grinder you can be, it's a necessity. You got a piebald fallow? Nice, dude. Let's go. And the next one was a level five? Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Looks like two bucks, maybe? Yeah, two bucks. Six hundred and seven kills now. I am HMing my solos. Keep moving on me. How do I make that stop? The solos will always move. Uh, you can't stop that. Solos move every time you shoot them. It's just the way they are. Oh, it's going to be interesting, Doan. I'm excited to see how it goes. I've had pretty good luck with Diamond Rainbow Trout in the past, so we'll see. Maybe we can get some tonight. Only problem is I don't really know the new areas for white... Or not whitetail. Um, for rainbow trout on the angler. I haven't really kept up with it. Yo, what's up, Jackson? How's it going? What map would I recommend for a whitetail HM grind? Uh, Layton. It's definitely the, like, quickest one to HM. Only got a dime rainbow going for kokanee, so maybe I'll get a diamond kokanee. That'd be hilarious, Caitlin, if you, you just get, like, the completely wrong diamond. At that point, though, I mean, it's still a diamond, right? Also, how you doing, Caitlin? Hope you're doing good. Turn for me. Thank you, sirs. Yeah, the last time that I really... 
went crazy with the rainbow trout was when the game first released back when the angler first released i had like three diamond rainbow in the first month and a bunch of different parts of the map spots that i don't even know if you can catch diamond rainbows at anymore just follow everyone else that's what i always do man we'll just be winging it winging it as always typical scarecrow Ooh, level three big boy a wild estimate man nice we got them both my favorite great one is the moose man the moose is by far my favorite looking great one the one I have the most fun hunting, though, is definitely the whitetail. Like, I enjoy hunting the whitetail more than moose, but I really like the way the moose looks. Just like it on my game, and it reset me back to level 21, took away all my trophies and money. I don't... Ooh, ouch, dude. That sounds like it had... Ooh, that's a big whitetail. Uh, it sounds like you might have had issues with, like, the cloud overriding your save. Like, maybe your save game got corrupted somehow, so it had to, like, dig back into the cloud... And sometimes, like, there's just, like, conflicting cloud saves and stuff, and it, like, just chooses the wrong thing. And, yeah, I've heard of that happening to a few people. It's the sole reason I don't use the Steam Cloud. And instead, I just manually back up my game, like, once or twice a week. That way, if uh, if I lose all my progress, I can just drag the uh, the backup and replace it. Also, guys, is this true or not? I heard that... I heard somebody... Apparently, somebody said that iBuy had some, like, save file corruption issues and, like, lost a bunch of his trophies. I think it was Caitlyn said that she had heard it somewhere. Did iBuy lose a bunch of his trophies? Was he able to get them back at all? He did? Oh, man. Ouch, dude. That freaking sucks because that's like, that's so much time that he puts into his stuff. Like he puts so much time into his lodges. Just like myself, like so many of us creators, we put so many thousands of hours into building our lodges. To just lose it all would suck, man. Dear Killer King, thank you for the super chat, dude. What's good, Crow? How's the family? Oh, it's good, man. It's good. Um, They've been doing pretty good. They've been doing pretty good. Aaliyah's been going through one of those toddler phases, though, where, like, she doesn't want to listen to anything right now. I knew she'd hit that phase eventually, but, man, it's rough. Luckily, she's starting to get to that age, right, where I can, I can like, actually talk to her and explain things to her, and she understands them better. But yeah, she's going through those terrible twos to the extreme now. Like, she's been going through the terrible twos phase for probably, I don't know, six, seven months now. But she's getting to, like, the bad part of it now. Hopefully it'll be uh, over in, like, a year or two. <laughs> People are joking when they tell you the terrible twos are, like, one of the toughest phases to get through as a parent. You hear that four is the best? I've heard that as well. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just wait for the attitude. I swear my daughter is seven going on 16. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, like, seeing all the different uh, changes in behavior and stuff throughout the years. Also, how's it going, Chope? It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope you're doing good. So his AOI was not working properly, so his CPU overheated. He had his USB save files in there, and it crashed, so it broke the saves on there. So he lost all of his trophies, but it's weird. All his bears are still fine, and he has the same level in money. Well, the thing is, you can have parts of your save file corrupt while, like, other files not corrupting. Because, like, it's not like it's just one file. Like, the way Call of the Wild saves things is in a bunch of different files, so... You can lose one of those files without losing the rest of them. 
Like, I could, I could lose all my progress to missions on one map and have everything else be fine. I could lose, like, my trophy lodges but have everything else still be the same. I could lose my character level and stuff but still have everything else. It would just determine, or it, it would be determined by which files get corrupted, you know? Because the game saves in such a mass amount of files that there's, you can have some weird, like, things just disappear out of nowhere if they get corrupted. Like, I've had a couple situations where I've had the power go out while I was playing. And it corrupted my save file. And what I was able to do to save it is I took my backup save and I just kept swapping out different files until it wasn't corrupted anymore. Because, like, it had corrupted, like, I think it was... I'm trying to remember what part of my save got corrupted when the power went out. I think it corrupted my actual, like, character level and stuff. And so, like, I just had to, like, swap out that file that was for that with my backup. And then it fixed it. And then I was okay. It's it's scary, though, man. Whenever you get, like, save file corruption, it's scary. Because, like, you're thinking, am I going to lose all the progress I've made since I last backed up my game? Or will I be able to, to fix this somehow? Because if I'm not mistaken... I think when it happened, I had just got a great one that I really liked, and I hadn't backed up my save recently, so I didn't want to lose that great one. And so I just, like, took the time to go through and, like, test each of them to see which file it was that got corrupted. It's it's an annoying process, but sometimes it can save your, your file. Like, it could save your save game sometimes. How do you get the blue and green metallic? Uh, they're in a pack that is no longer available. They were in a limited time pack that they put out for uh, people that had a hunt club, or not hunt club, um, people that have an Apex Connect account. Essentially anybody that signed into Apex Connect and logged into the game during the time that that pack was available, they would get it. Um, but it was like a limited time thing for like two weeks. I believe it was the midsummer pack. Wasn't that after you got the chestnut? No, it was way before then. This was back when I was still playing the Hunter Classic that this happened. Um, I haven't had any file corruption with my save in a long time. Like, over a year or two. I'm trying to remember what great one it was. I think... You know, it might have been a great one Fallow, actually. It might have been a great one, Fallow. I think it was right after... I think it was right after I got the Mocha or something like that. I remember it was like a... Like a very... Important great one to me. It was one that I really liked. And so I didn't want to lose it. Luckily, I was able to salvage it. Yeah, save file corruption's rough, man. That's why you always got to back up your save as often as possible. And if you're not sure how to do that, there's... Uh, lots of different ways to look into it, no matter what platform you're on. Eli, thank you for the 12 months. How you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Nothing there. What was my last great one? Uh, let's see. Last great one. Ooh, that's a big three. Last great one would have been my Fallow Deer. It was a fabled hooded blade rack. Ooh, three of them. Let's go. Got two. Ooh, got three. RIP. There he goes. Oh, nice pancakes. That's awesome. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, yes, we are herd managing on this grind. I herd managed with these whitetail. Ooh, that's a big boy. I herd managed them, like, over a year and a half ago. And we've just done every single grind on this map since for our whitetail. Jackson, thank you for the 20 months, man. 20 months as a member. That's crazy. 
So that's what happened to me. I never knew that can happen if I'm on Xbox. I lost all my level progress, but that's it. Yes, it would have been like save file corruption for sure. Either save file corruption or like an error with the cloud, like retrieving an old save instead of like an up-to-date one. That's usually the type of stuff it would be. There is ways to back up all your files on Xbox and PlayStation. I think you can upload it all to like cloud storage. But a lot of cloud storage sites will require you to like pay monthly to use them. So definitely like not achievable for everybody. But that's one way you can do it. So after the update, I'm not an accurate as accurate with the 308. I don't know why. You should be more accurate because they fixed all the accuracy issues with them this update. It should be a little bit better. No, it's not, Carson. It's not rare. I don't think that's even an uncommon. Maybe it's an uncommon. It might be an uncommon. Nice call the Wild Ridge. That's awesome, man. Uh, yes, Dayton. That's a, that's a pretty normal thing to have happen. Anytime that there's like... Jaxi explained it on stream today. The way it works is the reason beavers take down your tents sometimes is for a few different reasons. It could mean that they have... Like, done some work on that area on the map because they're constantly doing stuff like optimizing certain areas, whether that's moving trees, changing the terrain a little bit, you know, stuff like that. And so if they make any type of change to the map, tents that are in that area are going to get taken down next time you go there. Um, there's also some scenarios where... Holy crap. Thank you for the bits, Levi. Thank you for the 400 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing good. Uh, what were we talking about? Not gonna lie, the bit, the bit ding, ding, ding kind of scared me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, tents getting taken down. So, in terms of, like, tents getting taken down, aside from, like, changes to the map, the other thing that can cause a tent to get removed is if it's a very high traffic area. Ooh, that's a big boy. If it's a high traffic area where a lot of animals walk through that area, it can get removed when the animals are trying to, like, walk through there. Which is why you guys see my tents get wrecked by deer that I've killed all the time. Because, like, if a deer lands on top of the tent, it, it sees that as an object in the way, and so it removes it. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I kind of wish that it wouldn't do that with, like, animals landing in the tents. kind of wish it wouldn't remove them, but it is what it is, I guess. Here you go, big boy! 266. Wow, that's a small score for a max weight. Popping diamonds like crazy already, though. This has been one of the most insane, like, diamond ratios we've had on a whitetail grind in a while. Let me calculate it real quick, actually. So 629. Holy. Just Oracle, thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Much appreciated. We're already close to a hype train. We just started the stream. You guys are going wild. So 629 divided by 41 is 15.3. We're getting a diamond every 15.3 kills. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. W grind for sure. This has been a good one. It has. It has. What's my great one? Fallow loadout? It's the same one I'm using right now. Exact same loadout. Oh, gosh. Holy crap. Levi, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I might need to adjust the alert sound for those, actually. That is loud. Let's see. Where is it? Bits. There we go. We'll move it down to a 6 instead of a 10. Yeah, I think that'll be better. Oh, I have the raid one on 29. No wonder the raids were so loud the other day when uh, 
when holy crap oracle thank you for the five gifted man thank you for the five gifted holy crap really appreciate it dude really appreciate it holy crap dude thank you thank you thank you thank you sir all right let me save all this okay all the sound levels should be tweaked to be a little bit better uh, let's see. Let me go over everybody that got one. Congrats to uh, Tylen Mylan. We got Frankie, Rickus, Call the Wild Hunter 122, and Reckon Wrench. Congrats, guys, for getting those gifted subs over on Twitch. Holy. Oh, no, they're traveling. At 11.13? Excuse me, what? Why are you traveling at 11.13? Makes no sense. When you switch from Whitetail to Moose on Layton, do you check all your zones again or just move your tents, tripods, and blinds? Oh, you have no need to like check your like all your zones again because nothing's changed with the Moose, right? All you got to do is just move your tents and stuff to the exact spot you had them before on the Moose grind and boom, you're good to go. Because like going to another grind isn't going to change where your Moose are. Unless, of course, like you accidentally delete a Moose zone while you're hunting Whitetail. Then I would need to go search for a zone, but I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think there'd be any reason to, uh, check your zones before swapping things back. I never have. I just bring them back to the exact same zones I had them at before and I'm good to go. Nice. Got those two. What's up, OT? Um, I, I suppose there could be Deer Slayer, but it's not common. Yo, what's up, Huntress? How's it going? You have not missed too much aside from a couple of diamonds. How many drink zones do you have to hunt for a great one, Fallow? Uh, I don't base it on the amount of drink zones that I'm hunting. I base it on how many kills I can get. So, like, if I'm getting, like, 10 to 15 kills per run. I would consider that to be pretty decent for fallow deer. And keep in mind, that's post-HM. Obviously, when you're herd managing, you're going to have to hunt more. But then once you're done with your HM, you can tone it down a bit. Or were you asking, like, just how many zones there is? If you're asking how many zones there is for fallow, it can vary a lot. Anywhere from like 35 to like, I think I've seen as many as 47 or 48 for some people. It can vary. Do it, Zachy. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. Gosh, man, I'm still thinking about what happened to Ibai. That's so messed up. <laughs> That's so messed up that he lost all of his trophies. Really unfortunate, man. Let's go, Sticky. Let's go, dude. <laughs> It'll happen eventually, man. You'll get that moose. You'll get that moose. You'll get that moose at some point. Yeah, it does suck, Zachy. Like, it's rough. Yeah, A-Rod, so apparently he had some issues with his PC, and it caused, like, him to lose a lot of his stuff on his PC. From what I've heard from chat, at least, it seems that he actually had some issues with his, with his PC itself. And it caused him to lose, like, all of his, uh, I believe all his backups. And then he lost his, he lost all his trophies out of his main save. rough man yeah tony that's it's rough dude like i would hate if that happened he stopped as i shot no oh gosh he's dodging he's weaving he don't know what to do
Yes, this is the real Scarecrow. First great one took about 4.3k kills, so I'm ready to, to keep grinding. Yeah, you'll get there eventually, man. Like, the thing about Moose, they can be one of the easiest great ones to give up on because they do, you know, they got a lot of things that make them tough to hunt. They're slow to die. They're tough to, to find all of them. And, you know, some of those grinds, while you can have a lot of short grinds for Moose, there's also some pretty long grinds that I've seen for Moose as well. Including one of my own that was like 4,500 or 4,300 or something like that. Like, yeah, it can be uh, it can be rough, but all you really got to do is just keep pressing on. Never give up. How did I screw that up? I had to shoot him a third time. That's probably a 270 as well. How did I mess that up? I... Must have been because I didn't zero to 300. I thought I aimed high enough, though. Oh, well. I've got a couple of 270 basket racks already, so if it is one, it's whatever, I guess. I'm going to say 267. Oh, 263. He's not that big. He's not nearly as big as I originally thought. That's That's fine. Yeah, 5.8k is a rough moose grind for sure, Zaki. How many kills am I into the grind? Currently 639. Our last like three or four whitetail grinds have been under a thousand kills, so I'm really hoping that that's going to be the same case here. Two seventy five. Could you imagine if it was a two seventy five basket rack? Insanity. <laughs> That'd be insanity. I don't think they can even get to two seventy five as a basket rack. Maybe they can, but I've never seen it. Oh, there's our other shooter. Can we get him? Ooh, yes, we can. Let's go. It's hard to explain without showing you the, each of them, Deer Slayer. J6, thank you for the seven months, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, joking, bro. That's rough for sure. That's why I always keep backup saves, you know? And I try to update the backup as often as I can. Because, yeah, you never know when something could happen. Honestly, I've thought about... Like, backing my save up to two separate drives. In case, like, one of the drives has issues. At least I'd have, like, multiple options. I can't even think of one right now, playing plain Jailer. I can't even think of one. <laughs> 400 kills into my Black Bear Great One grind. It's really fun now that I've managed everything down. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's when it starts getting a little more uh, entertaining is once you get past the rough part. Bears are one of those species in the game. Or Black Bear are one of those species in the game. Where the more time you spend with them, the easier it gets. And the more enjoyable it gets. Like, once you kind of learn the grind, understand the grind, it gets a lot more enjoyable, for sure. That's pretty crazy, Zaki. That's like me with my fallow grind sometimes. Hey, Oz, welcome back. Great timing as always, man. Setting up my white tail grind. Nice, dude. Nice. 
Ah, uh, yes. Red Fox need to be level 9 to be Diamond. Indeed. Okay, there's five there, so no respawns. What's up, sub XT? How's it going? How many rares have I killed? Ugh, of Whitetail or like in total? Nice. Where's the other male? There's got to be another male, right? Maybe not. I guess it was only one that time. Ah, uh, that's a pretty big elk, Orkley. That, that's a good one. Anything above 410 for Rosie is pretty good, I think. From what I remember, at least. Yeah, it was just three. That's a three. Speaking of three, that's a three. My favorite map is Emerald Coast. Ah, he didn't make it. You know what I need to do, guys? I need to make a command that just lists all my favorites of everything. Just like a command where when you when you put in the command, it'll bring up all the answers. It'll just say... Like, my favorite map is Revlon Tuli, or not Revlon Tuli, my favorite map is Emerald Coast. My favorite great one is the Moose. My favorite gun is the 300 AR. That would save a lot of time. No. <laughs> What is my favorite shot to miss? The important ones. <laughs> you spawned your 19th Great One Bear today. Let's go, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, of course, Remok. Of course. Uh, yes, I do have a Great One Bear. I think I've got eight of them now. I have seven or eight of them. Let's see. Three spotted, two glacier, a chestnut, and two fabled cream. Yeah, I've got eight of them at the moment. Oh, nice, Zachy. Well, I mean, technically, after what happened, everybody's ahead of uh, I buy and Great One Bears. Too soon? RIP I buy is saved. You think a great one elk would be kind of like the great one moose? Um, I think it'd be just as popular as a great one moose. Probably more popular even. I don't think they'd design it the same way though. R.I.P. Tony. <laughs> You'll get one eventually, man. You just keep on grinding, it'll happen. I'm excited to see when Nate gets his great one. Because when Nate found his white tail, like when he found his second white tail, he was so freaking excited. I want to see him get his uh, his bear. Where's the other shootable male? I guess there isn't a second one this time. No, it's just one. This is a bit of an odd run. We're missing bucks at pretty much every single zone. Like either it's only got half of its bucks or it's got none of them. That's a decent uh, three right there. And by decent, it means it's got a decent chance of making diamond. Got really good tip to tip spread for that rack. Where'd he go? There he is. That's a wide one.
Troll? I mean, it could be a troll still, but I think this guy is going to make it. This one looks good to me. Yeah, 256. That guy made it. Let's go. Let's go, man. Do I do Twitch? Yes, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Probably, A-Rod. Holy Ash, thank you for the 200 bits. Gotta be top five, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome back, Ash. Thank you for the bits. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Need a prediction to see if it's troll or not? I would, but like... I don't want to have to tab out, set up the prediction every single time that we get a level three, you know? It'd be easier if, uh, if I had like more Twitch moderators, but been grinding for an albino cape and after 800 kills with HM and stacking still haven't seen a rare. Yeah, that can happen sometimes, man. I, I've gotten 1,500 kills without seeing a rare whitetail at one point. It was kind of ridiculous. Like, you go through some pretty bad streaks from time to time. In fact, I've surpassed 1,000 kills on my Bantang grind with zero rares. I know, right, Sticky? It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. He's in two places at once. Scarecrow's all over the place. Oh, nice, Dayton. Nice. Oh, no, that, that wasn't what I was talking about, Tony. We were talking about um, uh, somebody in, in the Twitch chat was wondering if I could do, like, predictions like do the predictions feature on Twitch every time we get a three, like put up a prediction on whether or not it's going to be a diamond or a, a troll. And yeah, it would just, I was just saying it would take too much for me to tab out and do that every single time. Um, but it, but you can have like moderators do that as well. So I was saying that would be the only way that I'd be able to do it is if I had more moderators. Yo, what's going on everybody? Which was easy to aim on controller. Yeah, I, it can definitely be difficult aiming with a controller. I've tried it before and I don't know, man. I just I just can't get into it. Mouse and keyboard is going to forever be what I'm best at. I feel like it's just so much easier to aim. Been watching you for a while. You're amazing. You make me want to start playing again. Oh, that's awesome to hear, dude. Holy crap. Ash, more biddies. Thank you for the bits, Ash. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops, didn't donate at all. Wait, that wasn't all of it, but you've been going crazy. Holy. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What's going to be the next seven-day grind? Uh, not sure. Like, I was supposed to do Whitetail and Rusadir side by side, but I found that it's kind of difficult to, like, dedicate time to two different seven-day grinds and have them be, like, the best they could be. So I think I'm going to redo the seven day grind for Rusadir at another time because I just can't make it like as good a quality as I'd like when I'm focused on two at once. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll finish up this whitetail one and then I'll start the Rusadir one for our next seven day grind. So I think Rusadir is probably going to be the next seven day grind because... Or I might even do another poll. Just to see what people think. I'll probably do another poll. Yes, I'll be doing Tackle Tuesday tonight. And because of that, I don't know how much I'm going to or how long I'm going to be streaming on the Hunter today. We will see. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool, joking, bro. That'd be cool. What's the kill count? 657.
No, I do have moderators. Uh, I do have moderators on Twitch, uh, Mr. Retakes. Some of them are just busy at the time that I go live, right? Or like, I think a lot of my moderators are like primarily YouTube moderators. So I'm thinking that I'll need to get some like Twitch specific moderators. That way they don't have to like choose a platform. They can, you know, just focus on Twitch instead of doing both just to make it easier. Trying to think of who though, because I, I try to only moderate like friends of mine, like people that I actually talk to in my free time. That way I know I can trust them. So it might be a few days before I get all that set up because I'd have to talk to a few different people. I thought I picked up the one in front, but I picked up the one in the back. Cruz, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing good. Ah, uh, I'm doing a grind on Rebel and Thule Coast, uh, doing herd management on Whitetail. Getting pretty big threes, uh, spawning quite often. Does that mean it's going in the right direction on my herd management? Uh, yes. Yes, that definitely does mean that you're going in the right direction. Usually, you'll start seeing like more diamonds popping up during the herd management phase. And then like even, like even somewhat early on, you'll see a little bit of an increase. And once you get it to the point where you're getting a diamond every 30 kills, that's when you've got to a point where HM's in a pretty solid state where you could leave it there if you wanted and just start rotating on your main zones i usually like trying to take it to like a diamond every 15 or 20 kills though but yeah you'll if you're seeing more diamonds popping up consistently then yeah i'll keep that in mind faded i will keep oh that in mind for god. sure yes, it's, oh my god. you have been around the community pretty much since day one for the most part maybe not day one day one but you get what i mean you've been here for years Hey, Ravens, I am having a pretty good day. I hope you are as well. Hope you've been having a good day. No respawns at any of those zones. Yo, what's up, airplane dude? Should you play the angler or grind fallow? Ooh. How about grind fallow? How about grind some fallow deer? Um, it's kind of like a locked in roster of people right now, Liam. Um, Brobert does a community tackle Tuesday as well, though, where his viewers uh can enter their catches in the Discord. But in terms of like the the people that we play with on stream. That's like a locked-in thing per season. We don't really change it mid-season. Because of the fact that we have, like, leaderboards set up with, like, point totals and all that stuff, we can't really, like, uh, add or remove people midway or it throws everything off. Yeah, I think it'll probably be a diamond. Looks like a good one. Is 13 fallow deer for HM great one grind good? Like 13 as you like your main shooter bucks? Yeah, that'd be good. That's fine. I use like, I think 10 or 11. I don't have a lot of bucks that I rotate on. 257, that's a dime. Love to see it. Love to see it. This guy actually didn't run that far, thankfully. Anything good? Lots of diamonds and a couple of trolls. 
No rares yet. No great ones, obviously. We're like off to an okay start, but uh, nothing insane. Oh, do we have five deer here again? We do. I guess we got an extra buck here again. Well, not an extra buck, but our second buck has finally returned after like 10 runs or something crazy like that. <laughs> Ooh, dropped him. Absolutely decimated. Going to be a great one today? I hope so. After being trolled by my first diamond on Emerald Coast, I quit the hunter. Um, things other than Crocs and Ruse. Yeah, the Crocs and Ruse are awesome. I, I don't blame you for not being able to stop hunting those. They're a lot of fun. Hey, typical rat great one this stream. Gosh, I hope so. It's been 32 great ones with no typical rack. Do you have any tips for getting more diamonds? Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to increase the amount of diamonds you get. Number one, just hunt near water. When you're hunting near water, hunting the drink zones of animals, it's going to make it a lot easier to see more animals in a faster amount of time, which, you know, naturally gives you more chances of stumbling upon a diamond. Then you can kind of take that strategy, take that knowledge into multiplayer and uh, just jump from server to server, checking all the hot spots where there's lots of animals drinking and eventually you're going to find diamonds. It's just a matter of time. Other thing you could do is you could try doing herd management like I do which is where you just shoot the you shoot the big ones and you leave the small ones. Like no matter how many of them pop up, just don't shoot the little guys. So for whitetail, we don't shoot the level ones. Unless they pop up in like one of our good zones. If you want more in-depth details on that, I got a playlist on my YouTube channel. that has a bunch of videos that kind of explain it in more detail. More detail than I could like on the spot like this. And like even without HM, if you just set up a grind the way I have, like, you know, set up all your tents at different zones where you can quickly hunt a lot of deer in, you know, a pretty quick amount of time, you'll start seeing some stuff popping up. The average without HM is like a diamond every 100-ish kills. And so, like, if you just shoot a crap load of a specific species like I am right now, then, you know, you're going to get some diamonds that way as well. I mean, today alone, we've killed, like, 60 deer in... Actually, more than 60 deer in 50 minutes. Yeah, I think we've killed close to 70 deer today. That's in just 50 minutes of playing. Yeah, I still just can't believe the 300 AR has less recoil than the 308. <laughs> it's crazy. Just ridiculous, man. Yo, what's up, Archie? Ran out the Fortnite Midas event, but it's only squads and three random people and zero communication is rough, man. Oh, gosh. That's why I never played, like, squads or duos uh, solo in, like, any of those types of games, really. Does Piebald and Fabled Piebald look different? Yes, so the Fabled Piebald is a darker color than the regular Piebald. That's really the only difference as far as I know. Ah, uh, Tony plays lots of Fortnite, Archie. Maybe Tony would pop in with you sometime. While grinding for a great one, does HM give a better odds? Or what is the benefit of HM? A lot of people believe that it does help, at least a little bit. But, like, the primary reason, like, if you ask a bunch of different people why they do HM, most of them are going to tell you it's because you get more diamonds, which makes it less boring, 
and more diamonds equals more chances at getting a rare diamond, you know, getting those super rares. That's why a lot of people do it is for the increased chance of super rares and just like more diamonds in general to keep it from being as boring as just shooting like hundreds of non-diamond whitetail and stuff. But I do think that it definitely helps a little bit with great ones at least. Especially if you have very extreme herd management where you're like getting diamonds every 10 kills and crazy stuff like that. That's when I see like the biggest difference on average. But it's all just personal experience and opinions. What is the point of stacking? It just gets your low levels faster. If you stack high levels in your main zones, it'll help get the low levels in the other zones faster. Because you're kind of like offsetting some of those low levels you've been leaving. What's up, duckies? How's it going? I'm doing a lot of ranked lately, but I'm a total baby, so after getting frustrated for too long, I need to do bot lobbies. <laughs> hey, man. Sometimes that's just what you gotta do to make yourself feel good. We've all done it a few times. We've all done it in the past where we played a game like Fortnite or Call of Duty, right? And you're just, you're just getting demolished in every game you play. So you're like, I'm just going to play against some bots for a little bit so I can feel like I'm the best. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, speaking about, like, going against bots and stuff, man, that reminds me of, like, the old days playing on the on the Xbox with friends. Didn't have, uh, didn't have, like, any money to get Xbox Live, so we just played against bots on split screen. Those was the fun times, man. Those was the fun times. What are you guys even talking about in the Twitch chat? I must have missed something. No, no, no. It, it definitely does not have the same spawn rate, Ash. It definitely does not. The typical rack, there is virtually no people that have got it. It is just something that for some reason has such a small chance of spawning. Because as most people know by now, and this is something that has been like discovered in the community ages ago. Like the weight of an animal, the weight that your, uh, your diamonds and stuff get, the weights that pretty much everything has. They are tied to, like, what antlers are going to be on, on, on that animal. So, like, it must just be that the window for, like, uh, the proper weight to get a typical rack must be so small that it's just really hard to hit it. That's the only thing I can think of. There must just be such a small window for it to be the typical rack that it's so rare that, you know, you see people that have killed... 50 great one whitetail without getting a single typical rack. I mean, between me and I buy, we've killed over a hundred great one whitetail. And none of us have got, neither of us have got a full typical rack. We've only got half typical racks. So it, it genuinely is lower spawn rate than all the other racks. Just like the drop time rack is a little bit harder to get as well. Not to the same extent though. But you don't see as many drop time racks. You don't see as many of the short rack. You see a lot of cluster racks, a lot of big rack, and a decent amount of the Kinsko slash blade rack. Now, with some of the newer great ones, it definitely does not seem to be that way. Like, if you look at Moose, all the racks seem to spawn pretty evenly. I see tons of people getting all of the different racks for Moose. Same with fallow deer. They seem to be a lot more even across the board in terms of how often people get them. But yeah, like for some reason, typical rack is just like almost impossible to get and nobody knows why. 
I mean, I'm kind of lucky for even having two of them that are half the typical rack. I think there's only a couple, like, well-known content creators that have ever got a typical rack. And I don't think... I don't think any of them are even, like, massive streamers either. Um, I know Zombie has a typical rack. I don't know, like, uh, what his view counts usually are, but... Zombie is the only, like, content creator that I've heard of that has a typical rack. And I'm pretty sure he streams on Twitch, if I'm not mistaken, right? Zacky would know. I'm sure Zacky will tell us. Dear Killer King, thank you for the super chat, dude. How much money do you make off of YouTube and just got a typical white-tailed deer within 37 and three diamonds? Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Uh, I don't really talk about how much I make. As a YouTuber, it's never good to get into, like, how much money you make. But it's enough to support my family, you know? I'm calling 50-50 drop time cluster. I wouldn't be too opposed to that. I've only got one of those. Oh, he stopped streaming. Got you. Okay, well, yeah, Zombie's the only person that I had heard of that did streaming that actually got a typical rack. I'm sure there's other people out there. I just haven't heard of them. Do you guys know any, like, streamers... Or YouTubers that have like a, a somewhat decent following that have managed to get a typical rack whitetail great one. Because, um, one of my old moderators got a typical rack. And, like, aside from that, he was the only other person that I knew that has one. No, Lady doesn't have a typical rack. She has a half typical rack, I believe, just like I do. I think Lady has a 50-50 that's part the typical rack, just like myself and Ayabai. That seems to be a lot more common than getting a full typical rack, which is kind of crazy. That's crazy to think about that 50-50 racks that are half the typical rack are more common than a full typical rack. Sheesh, man. Crazy. Great one, Hunter, on YouTube. Oh, got you. I have heard of Great One Hunter, so. That is pretty wild, though, man. Like, there's just so few people that have ever got the pleasure of seeing a typical rat Great One in game. Gosh, whenever I finally get one, if I ever get one, it's going to be like one of the most insane moments I've ever had whitetail grinding. Like, it'll be crazy. No, he doesn't have one Southern style. Welcome back, Caitlin. Wait, wait, what we discussing with Nate? I must have missed something. What's up, AE? <laughs> if you have if you have two 50-50s, that's basically a whole one. True? True? Okay. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. But, like, it's still just, you know, it's not, not the same, man. Uh, sure, Diamondite. Sure, dude. Go for it. If you were to add any fur from any Great One and any rack from the Great One, what would be... Wait. Oh, if I were to combine, like, just put any fur I wanted on any Great One with any of the racks, what would I have? Ooh. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Let me think. Let me think about this. Because there's a lot of good furs and stuff. Okay, well, well, one of them would be a fabled two-tone fallow deer with the the blade rack. Oh, holy crap. That would be crazy if that was a thing. Um, I'd also love to see, like, I would love it if the, fa if the moose could have fabled mocha with the typical rack oh my gosh 
Honestly, Fabled Mocha with literally any of the Moose Racks would be ridiculous. Oh my gosh, yeah, Fabled Chestnut Moose. Holy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh my gosh, you know what else would be sick? If they had the Fabled Spotted Fur from the bear on a moose. Fabled Spotted Moose with like the star on its head. Holy crap. That would be ridiculous. I would love that, man. Yeah, it's, it's close, joking, bro, but it's not like as... It doesn't have that, like, uh, chocolatey coloration to it that I really love from the Fabled Mocha. Like, the Fabled Mocha kind of looks like somebody sprinkled, like, cocoa powder on him. And I just absolutely love that look. Fabled Two-Tone Red Deer. Honestly, Red Deer would look really good with any of the fur types that exist on other great ones. But the Red Deer just need more variety. Wonder if they'll ever get more variety, man. It's a shame that there's only one fur for Red Deer. And like all the racks look really similar to each other. Bit of a shame. Oh, the Fallow Mocha uh, Terrell. Which they would add first to the white tail. That would be cool. I mean, they've got the fabled piebald, which is cool. It's just so rare that we're probably never gonna get to see it in game. <laughs> but like, it does. It does have a fur type. It's just like a really difficult thing to get. I would like to see like some easier to get furs on the white tail. Honestly, what I'd really like to see is I'd like to see the fabled piebald get made a little bit easier to obtain, like maybe a 1 in 10 chance of your Whitetail having Fabled Piebald. And then I'd like to see them add two new rares, or maybe even three new rares, like Fabled Leucistic, Fabled Melanistic, and then like a, a Fabled Albino as well. And all of them, I would want them to look a little bit different than the normal Albino and uh, Mela of the Whitetail. And then obviously, Fabled Leucistic would be quite different. That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see the Fabled Piebald become a little bit easier to get and then just add some more rares in to the uh, Great One Whitetail. Each of them having like varying degrees of rareness. Like maybe the Fabled Piebald's like a 1 in 5 or a 1 in 10. And then like the Fabled Albino could be like, or the Fabled Leucistic could be like a 1 in 15, 1 in 20. And then, like, maybe Fabled Mela and Albino could be, like, oh, we got three bucks here. Could be, like, a 1 in 50 or a 1 in 100 chance of getting. I just think that would be a cool concept. Bunch of different rares that are varying degrees of rarity. Because that would really add something extra to the Whitetail. And, like, then we'd have a reason to grind for more Whitetail. Because, like, right now, my only reasoning for grinding for more Whitetail is, one, because I really enjoy it. Two, because I want to get that typical rack. But if we had a bunch of new fur types, oh, my gosh. I'd probably grind till I had 100 Whitetail. He'll count 694. Only got two over there this time. Nice. Yeah, I definitely think 871 is very, very plausible, Ash. It definitely could happen. Let me take a look at my last few whitetail grinds. So... My last five whitetail grinds were 409 kills, 338 kills, 153, 126, and then 793. So we've had a lot of short grinds in a row for whitetail. 
This one's been longer than most of my last five. Oz, oh, thank you for the super chat. How cool would a chunky albino great one fallow be, though? Oh my gosh, it'd be so good. It'd be so good, man. What if they did the fabled birch for the whitetail as a base for the albino great one whitetail? Then like a really dark chocolate for the mellow version? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things they could do to make them like super unique and cool looking for sure. Thank you for the nine months, by the way, Viper. Come on, man. Oh, well. Nice, Chaz. Nice. I uh, know. There's no way to check your kill count on a specific species unless you kept track of it yourself. There's no way to, like, uh, look into stats and figure it out. Because the game doesn't track individual species. Where'd this last one go? He couldn't have ran too far, right? I mean, it's a 300 Magnum. Oh, nice F5. That's crazy, dude. 25 kills is pretty nutty. That's a fast grind. Any tips for a great one? I'm level 39. Still don't have a great one, so it kind of sucks. Oh, that's perfectly normal to not have a great one at level 39, man. That's perfectly normal. I take it that this is like your first playthrough on the game, right? If you're level 39, I'm assuming that it's the first time you've been level 39. You've never like uh, played through and then restarted your game. Uh, that's perfectly normal to not have a great one that early. Because it takes a very long time to learn like great one grinding and stuff. So, so don't feel bad about not having one at level 39. I didn't get my first great one until I had put a few thousand hours into the game. I mean, given the great one didn't come out until like a few years after I started playing. But, uh, like I killed thousands of whitetail before I got my first great one. Ian, thank you for the super chat, dude. 4K diamonds this stream. We definitely could hit it. We could. Yo, what's up, Johnny? That's good. That's good. Because she's been crazy recently. <laughs> she's been a crazy pupper recently. What's my longest HM fallow grind on Tiabaroa? The one, or you're doing run it one right now. Nice, dude. Nice. Uh, my longest grind ever. Let me look it up real quick. So that I get the number correct. Uh, my longest... Fallow grind ever was 2,161 kills, which is a pretty, pretty long grind for Fallow. How many kills am I at right now? 701. There's our white tail. Andy, thank you for the five months, man. What's up, Crow? Any cool kills this stream? Really loving all the Call of the Wild content you've been putting out. Keep it up. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, we've got a few diamonds today. No rares, no great ones, nothing like that. But we've got a few nice diamonds. Lots of max weight ones. No clue, Young Plaza. I don't keep track of the schedules of other creators. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. He's looking kind of nice. I like that chip. How you doing? I like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Great one chances conspiracy theory. Great one chances are selected by the size of animals on the map and populations of said animals on that map. I mean, you never know. That's the thing about it. We have no idea how things actually work in the game, aside from, like, the stuff that we've discovered. Like, uh, you know, we've discovered how to use herd management to get crap loads of diamonds and stuff, but 
we still don't really know how a lot of stuff spawns like the great ones and rares like we have no clue how those spawn oh gotcha chip gotcha hey it was still good though man it was still good how would you say the grind is on mississippi rough it's rough on mississippi because the gators are quite a big problem with spooking things off. We have three bucks here. What? That's a potential diamond, so I'm going to use the correct rifle. Did we get all three or just two? I think we actually got all three. Exactly, Johnny. Mississippi is just bleh. It is not a good grinding map, except for bears. It's not bad for bears. It's probably the second best bear map. Didn't make it. Ian, thank you for the uh, super chat once again, man. To be honest, controller call of the wild is harder than PC. Yeah, it, I definitely agree. I am not good with a controller, but I'm quite good with keyboard and mouse. So I, I'm the same way, man. Like anytime I get on a controller, I'm like, oh gosh, what am I doing? I, you didn't miss anything, Nicole. Yeah, it is fun for small game, Foxy, for sure. Small game, a little bit of bird hunting here and there. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Like, I really like turkey hunting on Mississippi. Oh, that sounds about right, Chip. <laughs> that sounded about right. What's up, Caleb? How you doing? Uh, do I have the PC command over on Twitch? Let me see. No, I have not got the PC command set up over there. So let me do it on YouTube and I'll copy paste it into Twitch for you. If, if Nightbot will catch up and do it. There we go. Thanks, Nightbot. Okay. There it is. That is the PC specs. Nice. We got both the males over here again. Come on. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. Beautiful. How many kills are we sitting at? 710 currently. Oh, nice, Chip. Nice. Love to see it. That's always like the biggest freak out moment on Ark is when you see a, a Giga that's like level 140 or 150 or 145. That's when you're like, oh my gosh, get the tranks. Get like 500 tranks and, and like uh, 700 narcs and we're good to go. I, I still remember back in the early days of ARK playing on custom servers or I guess unofficial servers where I, I'd stay up 36 hours raising the baby gigas. Man, those were the days, man. Those were the days back when I uh, met my wife for the first time through playing ARK and we would literally just play like all the time. Fun times, man. <laughs> what is the easiest great one? Um, exactly what Steelers and Ash said. It's Fallow Deer on Tiavaroa easily. 
Ooh, that's a big three. Oh, he's huge. That's a big boy. Uh, Ian, thank you for the super chat, dude. Uh, collab with Flinter doing a spin the wheel. Uh, I'm not sure, man. I mean, I'd be, I'd be down for it, but it's hard to plan out collabs with people because like a lot of, for some reason, a lot of the people in the Call of the Wild space don't do a lot of collabs. Like a lot of the big creators don't really collab with anybody. A lot of them just keep it to solo videos. I feel like I'm an exception in the uh, the Call of the Wild community where I, I want to collab with everybody. Like, I, there's so many people I want to collab with. It's just hard to plan things out with everybody. I mean, you guys see me. I do collabs with, like, Brobra, Caitlin, Nate all the time. Like, I've got at least one stream pretty much every week where I've got them on here with me. And we're either playing the angler or hunting around. Or we're on my second channel playing some games. Like, for some reason, a lot of the people in the Call of the Wild space just don't do collabs. And I've never really understood it. Oh, probably, Ronnie. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh, man. What diamonds do I keep? I keep any diamonds that are unique to the ones that I... That I currently have like if I kill a diamond that looks way different than anything that I've taxed before then I'll keep it uh yes tackle Tuesday is tonight golden game so you guys are getting two live streams today you're getting this one and then an angler stream later and guess what guys I got a second video coming out at 6 p.m. tonight. There's there's four bucks here. Wait, what? Four bucks here? I've never had four bucks here. Are you joking? That's insane. Four bucks here? What? How did that happen? I've never had four bucks here. It's always two or three. And occasionally one. But never four. Holy... Oh, the, uh, the second video on the channel that's going live tonight is of a different game. It's a game that I found on Steam, and I was like, okay, this looks interesting. So I decided to try it for, like, a quick little, like, four-minute video. So hopefully you guys find it entertaining. It's a game where you become a tiger. It should be interesting. It should be interesting. It's just, like, a quick little short video. Where I play it for the first time and uh, have a couple laughs along the way. Kind of experimenting with uh, like a new a new style of bonus content where like when I have extra time, I'll make like a, a second video for a day where we get like not only our Call of the Wild video, but then I upload like a bonus one of just something random just to see what you guys think of it. Most likely, it'll only be, like, new games that I've never heard of and that most people have never heard of just to see if they're good. Maybe one day we'll find a game that's, like, really, really good out of it, too. Two bucks here. Nice. See if Thieves stream with Nate sometime? Ooh, maybe. You guys absolutely loved it when I did Sea of Thieves last time, so. It'll probably happen again at some point. Because I had a lot of fun with it, too. There's just so many games I want to play right now, man. There's such a large amount of games that I like playing. It's hard to pick, like, what I'm going to play. Ouch, crayfish, dude. I'm sorry, sorry that you broke your wrist, man. That sucks. That's cool that you got a uh, that you colored the cast green, though. Let's go, dude. Do I remember my first great one? Yes, I do. It was a white-tailed deer off Rancho del Arroyo about one week after the map released. 
And it was a cluster rack. Yeah, the Hophobia streams are hilarious. I love those. And that game that we tried last night, the uh, Oh Dear game, that game was kind of cool. Like, I thought it would just be a Hophobia ripoff, but it actually had a lot of stuff different in it. I was really, uh, really surprised by that. Yes, Archie, I do. One of the worst experiences that I've ever had in Call of the Wild was finding that bugged great one. Literally, the only thing that was good out of that was that the video did really well. But everything else was just sadness. Like, I got a great one, but it bugged. I'm so happy they fixed that bug, like, shortly after that happened. Ooh. Ooh, that's Big Mella. Big Mella, Big Mella, Big Mella. Ooh, look at him. Dude, yes. Yes. That is awesome right there. That is awesome. That's a big melanistic buck. Wow. It's been like 500 kills since our last rare as well. Look at him. He's a beauty. That dude is a beauty. Yeah, that's a big mela. That's going to be like, what, 230s probably? Maybe 220s at the lowest? I mean, I guess it could be like 215. Actually, yeah, that might be the 215 rack. I'm going to say 216.21. That's my prediction here. That's a beautiful mellow regardless, though. Oh, nice, Pancake. Nice. I am seeing so many different predictions in chat. Holy. Just Oracle, thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Thank you. I think this is the same rack. Yeah, I think that one's going to score about what I said. What did I say? 216, 21. Let's see. 213, 16. Okay, so it's a low scoring one for this rack. That's sick, though. Also, since this is going into the seven day grind video, it is currently March 19th at 4.22 p.m. Just barely missed the 4.20 p.m. And uh, we are 724 kills into the grind with 46 diamonds and two rares. Well, three. This is our third rare now. Love to see it, man. What a beauty. Get a couple screenshots of this gorgeous buck. There we go. Now we'll save the replay. Yeah, Caitlin, that thing is beautiful. I love the Mellow Whitetail. They're super sick. Hey, J-City, what's up? Yo, what's up, Jenna? How you doing? I think I saw you in the chat earlier, and I just forgot to say hi. So, so how's it going? Now I'm saying hi. We got three deer. Three deer right there. None of them are big males. Ooh, that's rough, QTC. I've had a few like that where, like, they have a chance, but it's so small. Ooh, 1208. We need to time reset. Small males for sure. Small males everywhere. Wyatt, thank you for the raid, dude. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good, Wyatt. Nothing there. How to become a member? By clicking the join button, Hayes. Is it Hayes or Hazy? Oh, yeah, for sure, Frederick. Yeah, Jenna goes to a lot of the streams that I go to as well. I see her in all of, like, Caitlyn and Nate's streams and stuff, too. Yeah. 
It's going good, Wyatt. It's going good. We just got a big melanistic buck, and then we've got a few diamonds today as well. Got a level seven mela, six kills in. Nice, Preston. Nice. Hello, little feller. There's usually more than one buck, but I, I guess not this time. That makes me wonder if... We don't have all of our respawns back this run. I guess we'll find out soon. Ian, thank you for the super chat once again. Wish uh, you could see my lodge all golds. There's only 20 in there. All my saved harvest to minus one piebald in the lodge. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, if I if I go into one person's lodge, I'm going to have a hundred other people asking me to go into their lodge. And obviously, like, console differences if you're not on PC. For real, for real, Jenna, for real, for real. What do we got here? One, two, wait. Oh yeah, I always have two does here. I had to take a double take for a second. I was like, do I always have two does? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Only one buck, a little odd. No, I'm reading Twitch chat as well, John. Imagine the bug great one was a typical rack. I know, right, Kyle? That would have been crazy. I don't think it would have been, though, because it was like 109 kgs, so the only thing that could have been was a big rack. It would have had to be a big rack with that weight. But gosh, if it had the low weight, then I would have been wondering, like, what was this thing? Was it a typical rack? But I'm pretty sure that bug great one was almost, like, max weight. I think it was, like, 109 point something. Would I be able to use your main white tail zones for my grind? No, because your zones are going to be different than mine. But think of it this way. Um, this is just like, this isn't exact numbers. This is obviously just for like an example. Uh, let's say you have 200 places where a white tail drink zone could possibly be. You're only going to have like 60 to 70 white tail zones, right? So it's going to randomly pick like 60 to 70 of those 200 possible locations. And so, no, you're likely not going to have the same zones that I have. It's very likely that if you try to set up exactly the same as me, you're going to have a lot of places where I've got zones where you just won't have a zone. Or like some areas where I only have one zone, you might have like three or four zones. I would not recommend using the exact same setup. I would not recommend it. It's always good to just search your entire map, find where your zones are, and then set up accordingly to where they're located. There we go. 257. Beautiful diamond. Um, The streamer content creator role in my Discord is pretty much reserved for like uh, content creator friends of mine. So people like Flinter, uh, people like Brobra, Nate, like some of my friends that do like streaming and content. People like Lady Legend have it as well. Best way to find zones is by using your eyes. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not wrong, Chip. You're not wrong. <laughs> I I guess, yeah, you're you're right. <laughs> you wouldn't want to use your ears to find the zones. You wouldn't want to use your nose to try and find the zone. So, yeah, I guess, I suppose you're right. Hey, HG, what's up? Yeah, Wyatt. Yeah, I don't, I don't really give it to too many people. It, 
It's more for like, uh, hey, these are these are other friends of mine that do content. You know, it, it kind of like sets a, sets them apart in the thing so other people can see them. Best piece of advice ever. That's what I'm saying, Kyle. When you get your next great one, could you please use the 308 AR? Uh, maybe, Cooper. We'll see. Possibly. I haven't decided. Actually, I already promised somebody that I would use the new 10-gauge shotgun on the next Whitetail great one that we find. So after that, maybe I'll use something like the 308. But I did promise that the next great one I would take with the 10-gauge semi-automatic. Where's CJ open? Oh, he's just been doing like family stuff, faded. Family stuff, work stuff, you know. Been busy being busy. I still chat with him once or twice a week. He's just uh, not been on his computer as much. He's the 300 on the typical wreck. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine? Um, I'd have to count it, Tout. How many zones do I use? I kind of just base it off of the amount of bucks I'm getting, not really the zones. Like, if I can kill about 20 whitetail bucks per run, then I, I consider that to be good. Um, I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zones right now. I used to use 10, but I haven't been hunting this zone because I got a one to spawn there. I've been testing it without it, and it's worked out pretty good. So yeah, I've been using nine zones, and it's it's been pretty smooth. Nine zones, I kill between 15 and 20 bucks every run. What's the tackle Tuesday, Fish? It's going to be Rainbow Trout. Oh. So no typical rack? Yup, Reflex. No typical rack still. I don't get it either. You'd think after 39,642 whitetail kills, we would have a typical rack, but nope. Apparently not. Apparently not, man. Scarecrow doesn't get one of them. Fortnite's acting up. Always get around 120 FPS. Start getting 30 every game. Something's not right. That could be their servers. Um... Either something's up with your PC or their servers are having issues. Because sometimes, like, servers that have, like, a bad refresh rate can cause, like, it to be really, really janky on your end. Ooh, there's a buck. There's a buck in the back. A buck in the back of the buck. Two hundred and seventy ping on arc this morning. Yikes, Chip. Yikes, dude. That sounds terrible. Oh, you know what's the absolute worst twit? I almost called you Twitch. Chip. You know what's the worst chip? When you have like two hundred plus ping on arc PvP. That is terrible. I've PvP'd on some servers that were so laggy that you would be rubber banding every five seconds mid-fight. It was so bad. Like, anytime you'd get into a server that had, like, close to 100 players in it, that would be the experience. You'd get rubber banding every five to ten seconds, and it made PvP, like, awful. Oh, that was a 247. That guy was pretty big. Not gonna lie. Not bad. I run a solid 400 ping on any online game because of my internet. Oof. Yeah. I've been there, too. I've been there, too. In the early days of PC gaming, for me, I had pretty bad internet. Got three bucks here. Nice.
Okay, he'll go down pretty quickly. Oh, nice, Ash. Nice. <laughs> true, Ash. True, true. You know, I might have to make a, like, change that up a little bit to specify it has to be a, a gun that's actually usable on them. <laughs> As I've said before, I will not purposely mess up a great one. No matter, like, how much somebody pays me. Or, like, no matter how much someone requests it. Because it's just... As a content creator, it's, it's a bad look to purposely mess up a great one in the eyes of a lot of other creators. Like, obviously, like, some of the creators I'm friends with have purposely messed up great ones before. And I personally don't have any problem with that. It's just that other content creators in the community have a problem with that and if you purposely mess up a great one they're gonna make a big stink about it and next thing you know you got a bunch of people being like ugh scarecrow that guy that messed up a great one on purpose so i i try not to ever put myself in that situation not stopping till 4k times <laughs> I, that's like 11 times away though and i do have a time limit today on how long i can stream this because tackle tuesday is in an hour and a half Ooh, that's a dime too popping these dimes left and right this has been a crazy whitetail grind man like not gonna lie we've been getting so many max levels i tell you messed up one of the 50 pixel animals just for fun girl <laughs> i know archie yeah I, I don't understand it personally but it is what it is. It doesn't bother me. I don't like seeing the gold icon in the trophy lodge on a great one anyway. Uh, every time I go past the uh, the great one whitetail that I spined, I'm always just like, Ugh, oh yeah, you. You. You're the one that I screwed up. Ugh. the only shootable buck there oh no there we go that little dude was just hiding in the back what a nerd hey fire lord what's up man thank you i'd appreciate it ptsd i know right every time i walk past that freaking deer i'm like oh he's oh that's right i met oh that's right oh gosh and then I just stop looking at him. Because it just reminds me, man, this dude right here, this deer right here broke my, my record of not messing up great ones. Hunter, thank you for the super chat, dude. What's your favorite species to hunt? Whitetail. They are my favorite species to hunt easily. They're the only species I've been able to hunt almost 40,000 of them and not be tired of it. There's just something about the whitetail that makes me never get tired of them. Thank you for the, the uh, super chat once again. Really appreciate it. Any luck so far? Oh, we got a nice Mela. It was like 213. Yeah, true, A-Rod, true. That was probably my biggest screw-up I've ever done on stream. Like, I feel like overall, in streaming, I've got a pretty clean track record of, like, not doing controversial things on stream. That was probably the only time that I ever had, like, a controversial moment. I mean, I guess you could argue doing HM is controversial. But it's not so massively controversial. It's more like a small sub-part of the community. That sees it as controversial. Ignore that I almost shot that with the 22. Uh, that didn't happen. Can you imagine if I had actually hit it with the 22 from that range? That would have been wild.
Yo, what's up, fish man? How you doing, brother? To be fair, the chat wanted you to be to main menu. Yeah, true, but I should have just said, nah, nah, I'm not going to. But it was a stressful situation. It was a stressful situation because I didn't want to be the content creator that screwed up a great one. But hey, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you just don't think clearly. If I could redo it, I would not have done that. That's for sure. But I mean, it's been over a year since it happened, so it's whatever. Yo, what's up, Preston? I, you didn't miss too much aside from one nice melanistic buck. And, of course, lots of diamonds, but that's pretty typical for our uh, whitetail grind. Ooh, two nice level twos. Ooh. Those are both really good. That's probably not going to be two diamonds, though, because that one didn't look super massive. <laughs> when you see the spine great one, is it hurt management? Uh, Chip, this is why we love you. This this is why we keep you around, Chip. <laughs> oh, that guy didn't make it. Wait, where'd the other one go? Back here, I guess. Oh, there he is. Why do you go to the main menu? So you go to the main menu after every run to take the animals out of their nervous state. Because if they're still nervous from you hunting uh, a couple of bucks out of that zone, then they're not going to come back to their zone until they're not nervous anymore, which takes like 20 or 30 minutes. It takes way too long to where it's just not efficient if you just wait for them to come back. So if you go to main menu, it makes them not be nervous anymore, which is why most grinders do it. Because it's just more time efficient. Uh, I'll just be fine with the two, I guess. Not going to go for the third there. What's up, ASAP? Nah, that's not crazy, Fire Lord. Because you, you got to think of like, uh, you got you to put into perspective like how much each person has hunted them. I'm not going to say it's crazy that one person has one diamond white tail and like another person has like 500 of them. Because, like, everybody puts different amounts of times into different uh, aspects of the game. Like, some people would probably think it's crazy that I have zero diamond collared peccary. But I just haven't hunted a lot of them compared to other species. Like, whatever you prioritize the most, whatever animals you prioritize the most in the game, are probably going to be the ones where you get the most diamonds of. Like, there's a lot of birds that I still don't have a diamond or a rare of, just because I don't really hunt them. Like, I still need a diamond stubble quail. I still need most of the rares for all of the Revon Tuli birds. Two bucks and two does. Okay. Got him. Got my second great one fallow. Nice, Robert. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Hopefully I get to watch your stream for another 15 minutes. It's my 18th birthday tomorrow, and it's 11.45 here in England. Oh, nice, dude. Happy early birthday. Let's go, dude. I, I'll tell you, turning 18 is like always one of the, the big milestone birthdays where you're like, oh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for this. Like, growing up, I feel like the most exciting birthdays were turning 13, 16, 18, and 21. Like, those are the birthdays where I was the most excited for them to be coming up. Yeah, we're super close, ABCD. We're super close. It's honestly kind of mind-boggling. Update times are always crazy for channel growth, though. 
Great one soon, maybe. I sure hope so. We're at 754 kills. And if I'm not mistaken, tomorrow is the last day of the seven day grind. So I'm probably, if we don't get a great one today, I'll probably grind like six hours off stream for like just recording time to try and get something. We'll see though. We'll see. Because like if I don't get it today, there's a high chance I would get it the next day. Because we've been averaging under a thousand kills on our last five to six great ones. Like I feel like I've got to be close. And I'll feel weird if I stop before we get it. Watch me spend like eight hours grinding tomorrow and I'll get absolutely nothing for it. And then I'll have wasted all my recording time. <laughs> that would kind of suck. That would suck. But I guess it it is what it is. Nice, JBs. 700 kills in, hoping for a great with me. 4,000 in on Fallow, expecting 4,000 more. Hey, that's the mind state I was in during my bear grind, man. I, I, can't, I totally get it. When you've been having a lot of short grinds, you're in the mindset that you're going to get more short grinds. When you've had some long uh, long grinds, then you're going to be more in the, I guess, defeatist type of mindset of like, ah, well, 10,000 more kills to go, I guess. Because that's how I felt with bears. Like, after I hit four, like three or 4,000 kills, I was like, ah, oh, man, well, probably going to take 5,000 now. And then I hit 5,000. I was like, ah, we have 10,000. Why not? We ended up getting it at 8,300, but still, like, after that, I was expecting, like, oh, you know, there's no way the next grind could be that long, right? And then it ended up being, like, 3,800. And after that one, I was like, yeah, all my grinds are going to be, like, like, three, four, eight thousand. Lucky for me, they started popping quicker after that. But after that second one, I really was starting to think every single one of these bear grinds is going to be thousands of kills, isn't it? Luckily, we got into a better streak after that. But it was tough to, like, find the motivation to even continue after the second grind. Because, like, having 8,300 kills and then 40 or 3,800 kills right after, that's brutal. But I'm glad I stuck to it. I think that's really, like, the point of all this is, like, just stick to it, man. Stick to it. You'll get that great one eventually. He's Scareflint, Scareflint to Rooster Crow. Yes, definitely. Scare, Scareflintster Crow. Excuse me? Huh. Please tell me that's vitals. No, no, it's not. Well, I'm not going to wait for him to die. Yo, what's up, Clay? How's it going, man? Have you downloaded the Call of the Wild guide app? No, because uh, they're usually not as accurate as some of the other guides. Like, I've I've used them a couple times to look just to see if they were good. A lot of them have inaccuracies that I just wouldn't get if I got my information from other things like ProXCK and his like guide maps and stuff. And like most of the, the score requirements for animals I have memorized for the most part. Unless it's an animal I just don't hunt often. I've just never found like a need to use a guide app. Oh, definitely, Jenna. Definitely.
Yeah, that's the one that that's the one that I downloaded at one point, Camo Hunter. The Call of the Wild Companion app was the one I tried out, and uh, while it did have a lot of helpful stuff on it, like most of the stuff was stuff I already knew, you know. And so I just didn't see the purpose of keeping it, because like I already know most of this stuff, and the stuff that I don't know, I usually just get from like um, guides from other content creators. Um, how people I know are getting great one fouls after like 65 to 250 kills and I'm here at 700 with one rare. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with RNG. Like sometimes everybody around you could be doing really good and you just for some reason don't do. Oh no, that was a diamond and I messed him up. Well, oh well. I That's kind of the position I was in with bears as well. Like everybody I knew was getting bears so much faster than me. And my bears were just being slow. Like, uh, Caitlyn had, like, I think three Great One bears before I even got my first. And she doesn't even use HM with her bears. Oh, yeah, Proxy K is great. He has some of the most helpful, like, maps of all time. I use his maps for like any species that I'm not like familiar with where they're located. Yeah, Proxy K is a legend, man. Nothing. All right, let's do a little time reset. For sure, Jenna, for sure. Hey, Spider, how's it going? Oh, definitely, Archie. Uh, we did some testing the other day. And uh, I got tipped off to this by, I think, Zaki. The 300 AR has less recoil than the 308 AR. Like, it, it actually does not kick up as much as the 308. It's actually kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Not only is it stronger, but it has less recoil. Like, sheesh, dude. Like, uh, let's do it right now without any compensation. We're going to aim at the edge of the water and see how high it goes up. So it went up to, like, right here. Remember that spot? Let's see the 308. The 308 was, like, a foot above it. <laughs> 308 right here, 300 right here. 308 up here, 300 down there. That's, it's just so crazy, man. Like, they really introduced a monster into the game. Like, I expected a 300 AR to have less recoil than the 300 bolt action, just because it's an AR platform. I didn't think it'd be that low. But uh, I think we talked about this the other day as well. When you actually look at the two guns, though... The 300 AR does have better parts on it. Like, it's got a much higher quality stock and stuff like that. If we were comparing it to real life rifle parts, this stock, it, it looks virtually the same as, like, some pretty expensive stocks IRL. Um, obviously, like, the muzzle brake can determine recoil as well. Um, there's a lot of different factors that go into recoil. And this just looks like a more expensive, higher quality AR. Compared to this, which looks more like a stock AR with maybe an upgraded handguard. But, like, this is a pretty standard stock right here. Uh, that's a very standard pistol grip. Like, the 308 looks more like a standard vanilla AR that you'd buy. And the uh, the 300 looks like a more expensive hitted out one. <laughs> wow, Chip. Wow. I, I see you, Chip. Wow. Rude. <laughs> For sure, Fire Lord.
Okay, those are the two shootables. Nice, he didn't get away. 770 kills, guys. So somebody in chat predicted 771. If this next one has a great one, then they are correct. That would be ridiculous. Who was it that guessed 771? Because we are one kill away from 771. Let's see. Were they correct? Doesn't appear so. Instead, we have the exact opposite. A level one. A new level one showed up in here. Well, I guess we're killing that guy. That's the only buck there as well from our respawns. We're at 771 now. Yeah, it might have been faded. It might have been you. I just remember the last message was... Or was it on Twitch? It might have been somebody on Twitch. Well, either way, we didn't get it in 771. 772? Maybe, AE. Maybe. We shall see. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of what I was getting at, uh, Giggly VR. Is like the parts on it are much like higher quality parts. And like the parts, the parts that you put into an AR will greatly dictate the recoil. Like you can make a pretty beefy caliber have virtually no recoil if you've got like the right combination of parts. If you have like a higher weight, like a uh, heavier rifles will produce less recoil. Or I guess less felt recoil. And, uh, you know, same with like, like you said, longer barrels. Better muzzle brakes, all that type of stuff. Got him. Oh no, Fire Lord. That's rough, man. That's rough. About 7,710. Hey, don't wish that on me, Zacky. Come on, Zacky. You wouldn't want me to have a 7,700 kill grind, would you? Oh, that was not a diamond. That's a floater! Oh, man. You need to claim every animal to spawn a great one, and if you don't, it won't spawn, or is it only that one animal you shot that can't spawn a great one? Uh, yeah, so, like, it's, it's any of the animals you didn't claim can't spawn a great one, but the ones you claimed could spawn a great one, I think. They never gave us a definite answer. They just gave us like a vague, you know, people have noticed if you don't claim your kills, you know, they weren't getting their great ones. And uh, yeah, so they've confirmed that you do need to claim your kills for them to be able to give you a great one. But like I leave a couple of kills here and there. Like if I wound a buck badly, like if I make a terrible shot and it would just take too long to track it, I don't go for it. So I leave a couple bucks every single time I grind. Like, today, there's probably been three or four that I didn't claim. So, like, leaving a couple here and there isn't going to hurt you. It's if you leave everything. Like, I know people that used to only claim the diamonds and rares, and they wouldn't claim anything else. And they would go 10,000 to 20,000 kills without getting a great one. So, like, yeah, that's where it hurts you is if you're leaving everything. If you leave, like, one or two here or there, that's not a problem. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end the stream, though, guys, because I got an hour before Tackle Tuesday, and I'd like to get a little bit of editing done for a second channel video. So I will see you guys in the next stream. Hope you guys had fun. This was a very fun stream. We got ourselves a beautiful Melanistic and quite a few diamonds. I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.